Hi, hi, it's the tiny one slash BG, and we have a crate of loots. Remember, I still do not have, or I shouldn't say I, I should say Magical Cosplay Duel still does not have a code for you to get a discount if you get from Loot Crate. But Loot Crate, I do order from you every single month, so if you're able to give me a code, That'd be awesome for both me and our fans. Alright, let's get started with this thing. Now, I did open this earlier, and I'm sorry. And, yeah. Unfortunately, I did open this, and I kind of got spoiled from this. But, let's continue. First off, we have... Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, this is Planet Express ship. It's the, basically the Futurama. I say a glare. glare rama The Futurama ship. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Futurama, but... <coughs> I'm sure someone who is a fan will appreciate this. Anyway, here is the ship, and then here is, you know, the little stand and all that spooky stuff. And I hope I can put this together, and actually I'm going to set this aside so that I can put this away later, and I'm going to put my knife away because it's open. That's not a good thing. Okay, next up we have Mega Man. Let's see. Oh, it's a Mega Man mini series. Okay, so you can get either one of these characters or one of these. Not really big into Mega Man, so I'm going to actually leave this closed. And I'm going to give it away at my next cosplay gatherings raffle. So it'll be interesting to see who gets what from this. Uh, I don't know if any of the people who go to the raffle actually watch my videos. So, yeah. In case they do, surprise. Next up, t-shirt. Don't know what this is from. I think this is from Rick and Morty? I don't know, is it? Rick and Morty? Don't know. Oh, yeah. Rick and Morty. Duh. Help if you read the bottom of the shirt. <sighs> better. So yeah, so there's that. That's also going in raffle. Ew. This is a Star Trek thing. I like Star Trek. I like The Next Generation. I cosplay from Star Trek The Next Generation. Let's see what this is. I just smell it. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, okay. USS Enterprise. Galaxy Class Starfleet Registry NCC 1701 D. Utopia Plan. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically, this is, I think, a sticker that you can see all the nice glare to it. Yeah, so this is a nice sticker that you can post somewhere. Probably is going to go on the side of my computer. Who knows? Uh, next up. Let's see. This looks like a... Oh, it's a... Looks like a comic book. Yeah, I think this is going to go into the cosplay raffle as well. So, I'm sure whoever gets that will appreciate that. This is not going in the raffle. This makes me very sad. Live long and prosper after Leonard Nimoy, really. This I'm keeping. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, here is the book that tells... It's futuristic, okay. 
so let's see. Yep, there we go. Rick and Morty shirt. Uh, oh, Bender, and it has a little maze. Four times through trauma made us cry like babies. Um, and if you're familiar, I'm not familiar with these episodes, but if you're familiar with episodes, um, it's Leela's Homeworld, uh, Game of Th Game of Tones, The Luck of the Fryish, and A Pharaoh to Remember. So, to make you Futurama fans fans cry a little. Okay, yeah, this is the dedication plaque. It said decal. Okay. This durable dome decal lets you turn just about anything into USS Enterprise. No, will not actually turn your things into the Enterprise. It will cover 4.5 by 3 inches of the surface you choose to stick it on. And it's repositionable should you ever change your mind about placement. That's good. Okay. And then, of course, this month's pen. One of the most famous sayings and statutes in pop culture is a fitting pen for any decade, live long and prosper. Or, I'm sorry, loot long and prosper. Oh, funny. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Okay, this is kind of fun. Loot Crate ranks Star Trek's captains. Okay. Uh, if you want to start a nerd fight, tell someone your favorite Star Trek captain is Christopher Pike. If you want to start a nerd war, you tell people your definite rankings of the best Star Trek captains. I choose to boldly go when no reporter should go and ask the staff at Loot Crate to rank the five main series captains of Star Trek. Captain John Luke Picard is number one. He is best known for drinking Earl Grey and face palming. Okay, Captain James T. Kirk, best known for talking funny and getting all the girls. Captain Catherine Janeway, best known for getting her crew really lost. Captain Benjamin Sisko, best known for punching Q. That was a funny episode. Captain John Archer, best known for being boring. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's coloring a coloring page apparently. I think that's a coloring page. If it is a coloring page, I am tempted to just um, remove it and give it to somebody. Uh, da, 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 da. uh okay. Mega Man. If I read it, it really long. Talks about stuff in the Meg Crate, which I didn't get, so. Uh, past looters, and then. Oh. Alright, that's it for July's Loot Crate, which was futuristic. Be on the lookout for August Loot Crate. And just to let you know, this is being filmed. Uh, I had done a previous video on July 21st, which I unboxed my Sebastian Funtum Bunny. And I decided to do my Loot Crate unboxing at the same time, because why not? Because it was here. Anyways, that's all. And... Here's the inside of the Loot Crate box like I normally show. Alright, that's all for now. Talk to you later. Bye. Still need a special sign off and something to call you fellow magical cosplay duel fans. Please help me with suggestions. Please, please, please. Let's see. What should we end with?